an aluminum positive 3 ion is released from rest at a point with a 200 volt electric potential. It accelerates and moves to a point with a 50 volt electric potential. Find A, the final kinetic energy of the ion, and B, the work done by the electric field. Answer both in joules and in electron volts. We can use the work energy theorem that tells us uh, the change in kinetic energy equals to the work done by the net force. And uh, in this case, uh, the net force that acts on the ion, the only force that acts on the ion, is the electric force. So this, the work done by the conservative electric force, is the negative change in potential energy. That's the definition of uh, changing potential energy. And that means uh, this is negative, the delta u, u equals to qv, so delta u would equal to q times uh, delta v. Since we care about whether this uh, is positive or negative, we need to make sure we're careful with the signs, and we need to plug in the signs for the charge. The charge is uh, positive 3. That means uh, this ion has positive 3 e positive 3 times the elementary charge, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. The delta V would be the final V minus the initial V. So it's a 50 minus 200. So if you do this calculation, you'll get positive, because this is negative and that's negative, so get cancel, and you get positive 7.2 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. We also need to answer in electron volts, or EVs. Electron volts is also a unit for energy. It is not the standard unit. The standard unit is joules. Electron volts can be convenient to use because when we accelerate a charge, the charge is often a proton, an electron, or an ion, which means that the amount of charge is often 1e, 2e, 3e, that kind of number. So it can be convenient for us to use however many e's for the charge. In this case, it is a aluminum positive 3, so the charge is positive 3e, positive 3 times the elementary charge. The delta V is the final minus initial, so it's 50 minus 200 volts. So if we do this calculation, we will get 450, and that's elementary charge times volts. So it's E V's. So 450 electron volts. If we need to convert unit from electron volts to joules, all we have to do is to make sure everything in here is in standard unit. The volts is already a standard unit, but the E, the elementary charge, has to be in the standard unit coulombs. So we just have to replace the E with the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So 450 times uh, 450, that's this part, times the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, we will get the unit in joules. So these two are the answers for the work done by the electric force or the electric field. This is also the change in kinetic energy. We want the final kinetic energy of the ion. Since the change in kinetic energy is uh, the final minus the initial. And because the ion starts from rest, the initial kinetic energy is zero. That means uh, the change in kinetic energy is the final kinetic energy. So these two are both the answers for part A and the B. If you wish to, you can also find the final kinetic energy, the change in kinetic energy, the kinetic energy gain, by finding the potential energy loss. Since we already know this charge starts from rest and it accelerates, we know it is definitely going to gain the kinetic energy, so this is going to be a positive number. So we just have to find out how much this positive number equals to. So the U equals to QV. The charge is 3E. The voltage 
this will be the voltage loss or the voltage change, which is from 200 to 50. So the amount of voltage change is 150. Because we already know this is positive, so we don't really have to worry about the signs. We know we're going to end up with an answer that is positive. So just keep everything positive. That will work. So it's 450 electron volts. And then if we wish to use joules, we can just uh, plug in the E equals to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. Use this to replace E. Then we will get the joules, which will be the same as that.